It is 2 a.m. It is 2 a.m. Your mind internet has ended your sleep schedule and reset your alarm. Your awake schedule has resumed. Now enjoy this government sanctioned mind entertainment. It's 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. And, and you're watching Portland Place Morning. I'm Amanda Lyon. And I'm Katerina Schwartzkopf. Good wakeness to you, Amanda. Good wakeness to you, Kat. And good wakeness to you. Today on our Gov Sanct programming, we're going to uh, get galactic weather from Lane. We're going to get Robo Beauty Mart expert Sarah Biko is here. Sarah Biko? Sarah Biko. Oh. And food tips from Andrew. Topped off with the sounds and noises from Calvin Katie. That sounds like a great show lined it's up. Great. But our first and our topish ist story for this span around the sun is about birds. Birds. Our founding mothers brought them to the station 700 years ago to keep the lice population down. But did you know we used to eat them? Uh, what? I know, right? Archaeologists have risked their lives going down to the planet formerly known as Earth, casually known as the big one, and into the KFC caves where they discovered a parchment with a listing of 11 ancient herbs and spices and a perfectly preserved what they called family meal that included what appears to be biscuits, smashed roots, something brown, and the aforementioned prepared poultry. I wonder what they taste like. Do you think they taste like lice, Amanda? Ew! Ew! Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they tasted like lice. Well, moving on. Hmm. Do you know where your child is during the hours of eternal daylight? Our investigators delved in deep and died. So I'm here to bring you their findings. Everything is fine and stay out of your teenager's bedroom. You wouldn't understand, mom. <laughs> True. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? What? Well, we know trees died out over a century ago, so wood is so scarce we really shouldn't chuck it. But it has been recently reported that the woodchuck has been confirmed as extinct. I think I speak for all of us when I say good riddance. Hear, hear. I heard that they just caused disease, those filthy rodents. Speaking of disease, later we will hear from Jimber Amber about how cancer is the cure for cancer. But first, let's get some weather from Lane. Lane? Thank you, Cat and Amanda. Amanda, I must say, you look like you have a tiger graph to your face. It is beautiful. Thank you. Do I keep talking? <coughs> okay. We have a doozy of weather this week. <laughs> Snow is expected to never return as the last of the water leaves our atmosphere. And there will be north... High elevations of temperature coming from the north and Gulf Stream winds dropping to new lows coming in from the south. There will be a cyclone of emotions this week. 
great diamond showers will erupt all over Jupiter. But for those big red spot lovers, the giant blemish of Jupiter will be returning within the next century. For those living on the moon, expect never-ending meteor showers until the entire thing is demolished. I'm sorry. Stay indoors, folks. Those rocks mean business. Travelers to the dark side of the moon may catch a glimpse of the ion storms. Mercutians should probably all be dead by now. We don't know why you moved there. I blame space gen gentrification. Brace for warm days on Neptune as the temperatures will reach their highest yet, negative 200 degrees. So you can finally remove that extra layer, thermo jackets, and go down to a relaxing 10 layers. Large parts of Neptune's atmosphere will be a bright <coughs> crap, and other parts will be a dark crap. Scientists still don't understand what's going on with your planet, nor why you move there either. It's going to be a windy day on Uranus. <laughs> Winds will reach up to 580 miles per hour and tear down entire towns. For anyone still alive out there, strap in. <laughs> no one really knows why Uranus... The winds will begin in the north. <laughs> the winds will begin in the north and move towards no one really knows. No one understands what's going on with your planet either. Going back to warmer regions, let's check in with our lovely lady Venus. Like my first marriage, she looks beautiful, but will be blanketed with storms of sulfuric acid. She'll be in her typical range of 400 degrees Celsius. So if strap on some sunscreen and acid-resistant exoskeletons. Our adorable neighbor, the Plutonians, are celebrating their 257th anniversary, their first attempt at civilization. Sorry, what? Oh, OK. I've just been informed that while going through an asteroid field, Pluto has been destroyed. If you're planning a day, tri day trip to Olympus, Mons, Slap on UV-resistant second skin and expect sun forever and ever and ever. Back to you. Thank you, L Thank you, Lane. We'll keep that in mind for all of our future picnics and outings and whatnots. It's all the rage, spinal removal for that Ever youthful jellyfish look. Why roll up in a Rolls Royce when you can slosh up in a Gucci jar, looking as bioluminescent as the day you were born? Martu Flag developed the latest treatment <coughs> with surprisingly <coughs> successful results. His clients rave. <coughs> Wow, that sounds amazing and so relaxing. For more information, you can check it out on your Mindtranet. Amanda, you seem to have that perfect envy-inducing orange tone about your skin that everyone would die for nowadays. What's your secret? <laughs> I am so glad you asked. <laughs> Love that pumpernickel hue that harkens back to the garbage fire that is the 21st century. Retro face graphs are all the rage now. Choose your favorite orange oligarch shade and look stunningly tangerine like the tyrant that holds us in a death grip to this very day. The graph is generated from the sweet potato Stalin's own sloughed off dead skin cells and adhered with laser precision accuracy to your existing bone structure. Love those glazed over bloodshot eyes. Maybe that dehydrated, pouty, puffy 
putrid lip. Get all three procedures procedures done with the Cheeto Bonito package for a low, low price. Papaya Pinochet never looked so golf ready and democracy crushing. Get yours today at any Robo Beauty Mart near you. Cat? I will definitely be looking into that once all my debts are paid off and I can break this yoke of indentured servitude. Oh well, guess I'll just have to wait. Time for our next story. Well, I say story, but it's much more of a reminder. You see, 500 years ago, the human race believed that the speed of time, no, the speed of light was constant. <laughs> <laughs> idiots <coughs> so uh i'm I, we all know better now obviously um and light changing time is coming upon us once again so don't forget to recalibrate your mind internet this friday i just want to apologize to everyone right now the oxygen in the studio on our space station is getting awfully thin and i cannot seem to keep from coughing Ugh. Ugh. It's such a tragedy, and also, I'm gorgeous. Anyway. Indeed. Indeed. Here, here. Just pause on this for a second. Thank you. My thoughts exactly. And now, for sports. I love spots. Sports. OK. As you know, sports were deemed, quote, as savage as the death penalty. So now all sports are played by animals in jerseys. Coming up next month is the Professional League Games with Minnesota Timber Kittens versus the Chicago Bulldogs. Check your local listings for more kitties and puppies bumping into each other and not really... Not really knowing what's going on, but gosh darn it, don't they look precious? So cute. <laughs> so cute. And now, tighten your audio plugins. It's Calvin Katie. This is a song called Maybe Tomorrow.
Bre breaking news! Hi. <laughs> um. It, it looks like um. I. Do you know? I don't. I don't um. Ah! It looks like there's been a there's been a, a spell check virus. Um. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Um. It. A spell check virus has rewritten all my internet archives and and many names have been auto corrected <coughs> uh. <coughs> oh. excuse me uh. Fuck. um check your brain settings for um for corrections um to see if if you fell victim no no cure is seen at this time. I'm catering school zone, and I will have more s information on this story as, as it develops. Uh, uh, my, my, uh, this really goes out to the families that are affected by this tragedy. Thank you, catering school zone, for... I could have swore your name was something else before, but I'm pretty sure it's Catering School Zone. Um, thank you for bringing us this late breaking news. Oh, th thank you so much, Armada. <sighs> I, Armada? I think that's my name. Armada Lion, right? Lion sounds right. Ar Armada sounds close. I'm pretty. All of our. What do. <laughs> What does yours say? Armada? Armada. I'm catering. Okay. I'm okay. catering and this is Armada. We have a grip on reality. This, this is, is it. This is Portland Place morning. morning. Okay. 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 Now back to the back to the good stuff. Yes. More news. More news. Have you ever wondered how pills are able to give us all of the nutrients that we need and Satisfying that gnashing, grinding, gritting feeling that happens here in our stomachs? I sure have. I hate chewing. Android is Android. And 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 Android, that's right. Android. That's right. Android. Android is here to talk about the amazing scientific breakthrough throughs brought to you by this. It's a oh, it's tiny. Hello, ladies. Hi, Android. That sounds good. I am mass produced, I believe. And welcome, viewers. They offered food tips today, but as we all know, there's only one tip that matters. Take all your pills at once and enjoy the lightheadedness for 15 full minutes. Now, it's quite, right. it's quite timely that you mentioned that birds used to be eaten by our ancestors. For it turns yes. out, in the ancient dark days, our ancestors would eat anything that moved. Now imagine how hard it would be to end those pains here in your abdomen if you had to catch something first. Oh, oh right, right, right. Not only could that, I just catch you? You could, but that was generally frowned upon. It didn't stop many people, though. Hmm. It led to rise of various dictators who used their control over food, being super hunters, to bring about the old world's end. For example, Mac the Donald and the Burger King controlled pieces of what was called Europe and battled in the Ireland over their vast tuber fields. Mm. Mm. Hmm. All hail Burger King. All hail Burger King. The Burger King fell. No hailing. <gasps> no, what? I realize this might be news to you, but as the old world has come to a screeching end, so has all the old monarchies. Oh, who took his throne? Only the shadowy council that leads us now. They have unified all of us under the banner of science. Mm. Especially after the failures of the chromatic purge occurred by Colonel Drumpf in the North Americas. When he drove Wendy the Red from their lands, they no longer had all the beef, nor could they find it. Mm. And Drumpf steaks were not enough to sustain anyone on. <coughs> I've never... Drumpf? Drumpf. Steaks. Yes. It's hard to imagine. You had to cut them with a knife. 
What? <laughs> it's why How barbaric. Yes, it's why they were sold at a shop called the Sharper Image, which also no longer exists. <laughs> now, all the nutrients you need come in this simple pill. So, so do I just eat like a? Uh? You could okay. if you wanted to. In fact, that is advised. Okay. But this one pill is all you need for your nutrients for the day. And at last, science has settled the long question as to whether some of us are bigger than others because of our bones or because we eat too much. As we all receive the same rations, clearly my bones are simply bigger. Indeed. 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 Yeah. You have very Indeed. big bones. I do. My bones are the largest, and I am glad they grow my bones this big each time they reclone me. Huh. We are too. Yeah, we are. Uh, why are they different colors Yeah. Then? Oh, great question. Well, if you were to eat two of these little green pills, you would become two full, which is a thing that can occur and induces a new type of pain in your stomach. Oh. This little buddy here is for should you feel any sadness in your day. For example, if the migrating owls collide with one of your loved ones, mm. as you watch them bleed out on the floor, pop this happy little fellow and the pain of sadness goes away. Oh. So they're not just for your stomach. They're not just for your stomach. The shadowy elders that control our every thought and action have solved all inequality and all pain through pills. Ah. Uh. Do they do anything else? They have many uses. This bright little fellow, for example, you all recognize it from your morning, noon, and night pill selection. It is the obedi dose. It is what stops you, it quells those revolt pains you feel on occasion over the existential terror that we live in under our orange overlords. I'm familiar with these, but I feel like they are constantly fading. Is that because of the blue pill? It is because of the blue pill. It keeps that pain in check so that at no point will you overexert yourself by rising up against the natural order of our habitat. Now what about the weight of <coughs> smartness? Uh, yes, that is a burden some are born into. Fortunately, the entertainy dose Ooh. is all that you need to find programming like ours beyond your mental stimulation capabilities. With it, you can drool happily for hours and believe that you are in fact solving many of the world's problems while not bothering a single one of your neighbors. I like it. Do you have any other pains you might experience? Hmm. For example, I have heard that once upon a time, humans suffered from something called attraction, where they wanted to be near other humans, have physical contact with them, slather fluids on and inside of each other. Uh, 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 this little friendly one, you only have to take it once. You uh, might remember it from your teenage years. It stems all those awkward pains and helps us Thank you. Never again want to get that close to another person, since that is truly part of what leads to our eventual <sighs> downfall, when we form groups and bands together against our shadowy overlords. I much prefer clones. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I believe we all do. Are there any for taking away... How do I put this? The water that comes from your eyeballs? <gasps> yes. The water that comes from your eyeballs. Yes. Well, if like the- Like when our, 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 our relatives aren't hit by birds, but there's just other times when I'm sitting mm -hmm. and suddenly my face is leaking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have two options in this scenario. This is called a diuretic. Ooh. It has been Ooh. aged for 10 years to the peak of perfection. <laughs> after having been stolen from elderly who no longer need it. And by stolen, I mean reappropriated for appropriate use, of course. There's appropriate use? There's that sounds very logical. No need to nerve staple me at this time. No. This should stop the leaking in your face by draining all excess fluids through your exit ports. Should that not be enough, and you find that the ex existential terror that is your daily existence overwhelming to the point where you feel like you have to do something about it, mm -hmm. This little fellow is the end it all. Hmm. Order it from any screen within the habitat and your pain will go away forever. Now, when you say forever, mm -hmm. do you mean past your credit score? No. 
Nothing goes past your credit score. No. Well, your credit score will be handed off to those better able to pay for it. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. So I have a question. I have Just answers. one more question. Um, so, so sometimes when I eat the solid stuff, other solid stuff wants to exit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First, you're wrong oh. and you should feel bad. There is nothing solid you should be eating other than your daily green pills. Shame on you. Damn it. Shame <laughs> on you. I'm not sure what you're Some eating, bitch. but you might want to get that checked out. The solid that's coming out of you, though, is most likely the pure evil you've been harboring in your heart against our pure overlords. Because why else would you have violated the natural order of things by consuming anything other than your food dose? I am disgusted. As well you should be. I, I don't know if I can go back to the desk with you. Are you doing it now? No. No. Are you Maybe sure? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. I need both of you to take one of these so that you can continue the show without such disruptions. Which ones are these? That is the forget it all. Oh. Oh. Oh, um, I is, feel better. There's a large part of easing your pain. <sighs> we will what? never speak of this again. Who are you? Uh, they call me Android. Android. That's I've a nice been, name. I've been cloned through 10,000 years of this show. And one day, my pain will end. I look great. Will you excuse me a moment? Sure. Sure. All right, well, let's, what are we doing over here? I think we're supposed I, to be over there. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. I, let's go back where we're comfy. Okay. Armada, catering. Catering. I feel like I, I think I need to remember something is happening. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's Portland Place morning. morning. Good wakeness to you. Good wakeness to you. I'm Catering School Zone. I'm Armada Lion, and we're here to give you the news. <laughs> Our top story for today is about birds. Birds. Did you know that 700 years ago... I, I think something is awfully familiar and reminiscent about that sentence. Did, did we order... How long have we been here? Who is this? Where did Android go? Oh, that's right. Thank you, Android, for that in-depth whatever thing that we just did. <gasps> oh, yes. Now please enjoy another mash of vibrations coming from Cadence Candy. Thank you, thank you. But but first, I'd like to uh, touch up on a very important topic. Have you or a loved one ever suffered from perfection? Complete, genetic, amazing, perfect perfection? Well, there's a cure for that. We call it biosynthetic reverse eugenics. And so you you go in and and, and you take these you take these these pills, you take these these surgeries, these these other other things, med medical things, and, and then and then you're you're not perfect anymore. You can you can actually naturally die, and uh, it's it's quite wonderful. Uh, the the side effects include, but aren't limited to, um, vomiting, diarrhea, hives, warts. Uh, general sadness, anxiety, um, not being pretty, um, it just kind of, it just kind of, I, I don't recommend this, actually, you, you probably just, no, no, you know what, you know what, you're good, you're fine, everything's good, don't ever think about the past ever, it never happened, anyways, <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> please, please continue to suffer from perfection.
Thank you. What a collection of sound waves. Thank you, Ka- Ka- Cadence. Cadence is right. Yes. Cadence is right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not, not Calvin. C- Cadence. Calvin. Calvin. Is, Calvin is not a word. That's gibberish. That is. That sounds like gibberish. Kind of like the lyrics of that song. I believe that was an ancient Tolkienese. Ooh, Tolkienese. They're almost extinct. Mm-hmm. Every single one. You know, speaking of extinction, I've been thinking a lot recently. Hmm. Hmm. I've been thinking I don't think thinking is government sanctioned, but continue. Well, I can't help (coughs) but wonder how I can keep myself safe. You see, Hmm. with all of these Armageddons and calamities and apocalypses, apocalypse... Says Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Um, I don't know if I'm fully prepared for the next one. I mean, it seems like they're happening every other day, hmm. right? Yes, yes. Um, well, do you have a screaming hole? A screaming hole? No, tell me more about this. Oh, it's easy. You just cut a hole in the wall and mm-hmm. then you just yell very loudly into it whenever you feel stress or pressure. Oh. That sounds much quicker. I do a lot of of organizing. Whenever mm-hmm. I'm whenever I don't I don't have the pill to take, I I just sort of align things together in some sort of fashion that makes me feel in control of my surroundings. And especially since I've had these gloves grafted to my hands, mm. Mm. I can't Beautiful. really Thank you. Beautiful shade of orange. Thank you. Mm. Mm. But I can't grab mm. anything. I can't... I can't pick things up. Well, you have grabbed the hearts and eyeballs of everyone watching right now. Oh, stop. All right. With all of these calamities that are ex- <laughs> affecting our existence on a daily basis... Daily. It's hard to look your space goddess best... When we keep having an apocalyptic crisis, now designated every 18 months, at least. who has the time? No time. To teach us the useful beauty secrets from the Robo Space Mart, we have Sarah. The <laughs> makeup song, makeup, makeup song, walking over to makeup, makeup, space makeup. Space makeup. Space makeup. Makeup. Space makeup. Makeup. Hello. Hello. Hi. Sarah. I'm going to show you guys how to look your best in this now apocalyptic weather that we have going on. I'm uh, so excited. Do you mind if I just remove these? Oh, careful. Careful. Uh, now, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to look your best so that you don't have to wear your sunglasses everywhere you go. Now, with this apocalyptic weather, it's very important to moisturize your skin. You got to keep that skin nice and fresh. So you just want to layer that all mm, mm, over there, uh, just like that. Oh, yes. Now, yeah. is this Beautiful. available at uh, Robo Beauty Mart? Oh, of course it is. All of the products that you see here are available and at a very low and affordable price. All of them are available. Every single one. Now that we've got your face all moisturized, as we know, big, bold brows are in. Feels wet. Yes. Feels very wet. So we're going to give you some nice, bold brows here. Love it. Love it. In this nice shade to complement your skin. Beautiful. Yes. She just is. like that. I feel more beautiful already. Oh, darling, you look more beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, as we all know, orange is the hot new color this uh, season. Color. So uh, you're going to want to uh. put some of that right on your eyes. Is it true you're half android? Well, of course. Awesome. That is uh, so hot right now. Oh, my God. 
How long did the procedure take? It took about 15 hours, but let me tell you, it was well worth it. What was the healing time like? Um, it only took about two hours, but they gave me this special pill, and I just took it, and it felt great. Oh. Ooh, sexy. So, as you see, when I'm putting this on, we get a bunch of fallout, but fallout these days is all the rave. There we go. Sarah is so cool. So now we're just going to take a deeper color like so, oh, and we're just going to blend that into your crease to make your eyes pop a little bit more. <coughs> just like that. Now our creases <sighs> in? Oh, of course they are. The bigger the crease, the better. Oh. Mm. Well then bump mine up, baby. You got it. And then I'm just going to drag this down along your nose to give you a nice, sharp, pointy nose because the sharper Ooh. the nose, yes. the better. The more you can cut a bitch with, Ooh. you know? Look at that. Sharp. Yes. Look at that. And we're going to do this crease here. Nice and big and bold. And then we're going to bring it down the nose. You kind of just want to connect it all. Ooh, yeah. Oh, dramatic, yet, yes. like, work appropriate. Yes. 100% oh, work appropriate. This is like an everyday look. Yeah, I may not have to wear my sunglasses ever again. Exactly. But I will have to get UV eye drops. Oh, yes, of course. Now, red for your cheeks, of course. Everybody's obsessed with red these days. Now, I'm going to give you a quick and easy, cheap, affordable tip. Um, because, you know, with all these owls flying around and everybody getting mauled and dying and stuff, mm. if you don't Birds. have money to buy some blush, just use the blood of your friend and just put it on your cheek, you know? That is yeah. such a great at-home tip. It's cost-effective. Look at that. Oh. Now, oh, I feel gorgeous. Eyeliner, very important. We want to really bring out those eyes and give it a nice, sharp Ooh. cat eye. The more winged out, the better. Ooh. This feels Ooh. like I am more and more beautiful. This look good. By the moment. You want to go past that eyebrow and bring it out all the way to your hairline. Oh, yeah, hairline. Yeah. Yes, yes. God, I'm jealous right now that I got this dumb oh, face girl, graph. Girl, you look so beautiful. Thank you. There we go. Look at that. The sharper, the I feel, better. I feel orange and glowing. All right. I feel radioactive. Ooh. Now, highlighter. Ooh. And, of course, orange. Now, We're just going to stipple that right on there and blend it in with your finger. Now, what are these products made of? Um, well, there's a lot of zirconium in there, and then we've also got some crystals and, of course, the diamonds. But mostly just blood and other pigments and colors like that. Now, is it more affordable to get Jupiter diamonds or manufactured diamonds? Oh, darling, diamonds? you know that the Mars diamonds are the best. That's Mars diamonds. Like, yes. Didn't you hear they found diamonds oh. on Mars? <gasps> but diamonds on Mars. You have to be really exclusive to get those, though. That's fair. But we do work a government job. Mm. All right. Now close your eyes. I'm going to put some nice mascara on there. Oh, yes. The darker your lashes, the better. I, I also really enjoy how both sides aren't even No, at you don't all. want them to be even. Oh, you don't? That's no. not in? Oh, God. No, that's not it's in symmetry. at all. No oh, symmetry. Well, a a symmetry is a yeah. okay. Asymmetry is hot. Yeah. Let Girl. me just rub this right there. There we go. Oh, rubbing oh, things look in. Look Now, oh. I would say you are ready to go out for the night. I feel like I'm going to cry. Don't. You have to take <laughs> yeah, a pill and stuff leaks out your yeah. face. We can't cry. There is no crying. Where's the pills? Oh, no. Where's the pills? It doesn't I matter. Think I took them all. I have one over at the desk. It's fine. Okay. Okay. But oh my, my goodness, darling, you look stunned. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Do you want to get any? I know that, that you have mm. this beautiful, mm. this beautiful graph. Mm. I, I should wait until this graph um, finally sloughs off in, oh. in, in, in my pool that's fair <laughs> um but so how much are all of these beautiful products that you well, demonstrated for you us? can get this wonderful face moisturizer for 55.99 Ooh, this wonderful blush is only 32.99 oh that's, that's so a, that's, that's so, so amazing it's and only 32 each of these eyeshadows 
These are only $24.99. Can you believe that? For the pair or each? Oh, each. each. I'm baffled either way. I can't believe these <laughs> prices are so low. And this mascara? $26.99. This is the best mascara, honestly, so that I've so ever cheap. used. It feels so heavy on the eyelid. Ooh. Ooh. Right. You know That's it's you there. Want. Exactly. You want to know that this <sighs> stuff is on your face. That's why we have it. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. I feel a little tingling. Yes. I feel Ooh. a little burning. You want to feel that synthetic stuff oh. working its way into your skin. Just clogging your pores. Yeah, clogging your pores right up. Soaking into your brain. Oh, I love it. Yes. Now, do they make makeup that would incorporate the pills that we have to take so they can just seep into our skin. Oh, of course they do. Really? What yes, is the line you, called? It's, uh, well, it's called Imprez. Imprez. Ooh. Yes. And so you take the pill Ooh. and it just like, it's like this makeup is being imprinted on your face. Mm. It just kind of shows up overnight. It's wonderful. It's not very healthy, but it's, it looks great. And you know what? That's what counts. Health <laughs> is relative. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you are so welcome. <laughs> Let's go back to the counter so I can really get a, a full feel of this in my natural environment. You've been wonderful. <laughs> Thank mm. you for having and, uh, me. And tell Robo Beauty Mart they're welcome anytime. Oh, you <laughs> got it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because there's a giant window. <laughs> That's why there's space behind us. That's why there's space behind us. Because there's a giant window right behind us on this space station that we're obviously living in. What do you think that galaxy is? Hmm? What do you think that galaxy is? I don't know, Sorry. but it looks real milky. Ooh, hunty, that skin. I'm just <laughs> feeling so sassy and vibrant. I wonder if this is what the jellyfish treatment feels like a little bit. I don't know. Can we hear from our jellyfish? Ooh, that might be too much. Oh, 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 oh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I was not expecting that. Ooh. Oh, well, then that's okay, then. Oh, the shade of it all, though. Mm. The shade of... Ooh! Oh! Oh, pardon. We didn't mean to interrupt. I... Okay. Let her speak! Oh, God, that jellyfish. I'm... I'm... What the fuck? <laughs> we did not mean to offend you. You're a person, not a jellyfish. I, I I can't even I can't even deal with all of this berating, like jelly bubbling noises. Take your pill. Ugh. Take your pill. Ugh. Take your pill. Crush, crush, crush. Snort. <gasps> Better. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, this has been quite a ride. What? I am burning up right now. Oh, it's hot as fuck in here. I, I think that's how you know that the makeup is working. Oh, totally. The face graph is working. Um, they really do take care of us quite well here on the station. The don't pills they? are working. What have we learned today? Birds. 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 We've also learned that perfection is a burden. Oh, it is. Thank you. A heavy, heavy weight. Thank you. We've learned mm -hmm. something about pills. I just know that we take them. We take them. And the pain goes away. Every day. All the pain. Tummy pain. Mm. Head pain. Shoulder pain. Huh. Love pain. Ooh, love pain. Love the pain. Most painful of them all. Love pain. Hmm. I feel like... Are we forgetting something? Are we? I don't know. I can't pick anything up. <laughs> it's the skin grafts over your hands. But they look... Beautiful. They look gorgeous. That's okay. I can't feel anything in my face. <gasps> What'd I do? I have no idea. What'd I do? I don't know. Is it in your mouth too? No. Oh. Ow. Do your teeth hurt? Uh, you know what? Because they're killing me. <laughs> Shady as fuck, man. That's it. Where's that jellyfish? <laughs> Where's those birds? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. I have to, can I can I I'm going to lay it on the line mm. for a moment. Mm. I walked out of my apartment 
which is just a closet. And there were a flock of geese. What are geese? What are those? You know, the really, really fat ones. And they sound like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. Those are geese. Okay, okay. okay. They, I, I don't know if you have them in, in your section of the station, but... No, because I'm wealthy. They are so mean. So mean. They chased me all the way to the bathing facilities. All the way? All the way to the bathing facilities. That's easily like 13, 14 feet. It was so horrifying. I had to take five pills when I got there. Five. Five. And a bath pill. You were so distraught you had to even take a bath pill. (sighs) It was too much. And that was just this morning. Hmm. I wish that all of... I wish I could just eat these birds. I think you can. We know those archaeologists, right? Yeah, I fuck them. (laughs) Yeah. She does. She does. There ain't a pill for that. (laughs) There ain't a pill. There ain't a pill. You know... For fucking archaeologists. (laughs) <laughs> so I have to make do with what I got. Man, our show really fell apart. <laughs> We're doing really good. Hmm. But this is what you get for government work. I know, I know. Government paid it's, for this. It's 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. And you're watching, watching Portland, Portland Place, Place Morning. Morning. <sighs> We've been up longer than you. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? Let's just fuck it, man. We got like eight more. Fuck it, we got like eight more minutes left. (laughs) You know what? I want to talk more about birds. God damn it. (laughs) All right. You know, I've learned a lot recently. They used to keep zoos back in the day. Do you know what a zoo is? Uh, zoo? Uh, no. Well, a zoo, listen close, they kept animals. They kept animals for us to look at. They kept animals for us to look at and gawk at and stare at. But <coughs> they also saved them. And it was really, it's really nice behind the scenes. A lot of good that did now. That's true. But we do have birds because of them, probably. I like that I'm, I'm really close to <laughs> I really like being this close. I don't, I don't think that, that's government sanctioned. That's not government sanctioned. Uh... <laughs> no. We can't. We can't. <coughs> the archaeologist would <coughs> fall. That government sanctioned, though. That booty is. Oh, oh God. shit! <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? I got <laughs> We're yes. doing it for eight minutes, though. <coughs> That's what the bathing units sound like. So, in between our transitions, we had some really cool music, right? Yeah, it was brought to us by birds. By <laughs> birds. Ascorbic billing. Escorbic billing. It was brought to us by Escorbic billing. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Listen for the birds. If you listen close, that's that's the great, it's the great horned owl. That's the female. <coughs> is oxygen running out for you? Too? It is. <coughs> it is. I think this. Makeup is clogging my pores, so I can't absorb enough oxygen. Are you inhaling it into your lungs? Possibly. I'm possibly inhaling it into my lungs. Thank you, ascorbic acid. Ascorbic. What? Spell check did it, not me. (laughs) All right. Catering school zone. (coughs) I didn't do that. Armada. You go, regular watchers out there know this is how we end 
every Portland yeah. place morning. It's just a long, drawn out spiral of nonsense and yelling. Because at this point, you're no longer listening to us. Your children are screaming, and your husband is unsatisfied. So, oh, he's satisfied. I just know what that means. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? So we can say whatever the fuck we want because no one, none of y'all listen to us. You're finishing up your fucking brand muffin pill, and this is really what all humanity ends Ooh. up as. Just descendants. Of chaos and uselessness mm. and nonsense. Oh, you know what? And gibberish. What? What day is it today? Oh! Uh, I almost forgot. We almost forgot I everyone. Know. We would love to wish you. Can we get the camera on both of us, please? Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> um, <coughs> we would like to wish everyone out there who has been watching us, we thank you. We thank our crew or whatever. <laughs> the guests that were here and said something. I don't know. We would like to thank everyone for watching us and making us so famous. And we want to wish all of you a happy, happy Global Surrender Day! Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.